Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Um, I was thinking about doing a video of my place setup since some people were asking. Um, so yeah, here it is. I got the Trustmaster T300 steering wheel. Uh, changed it a little bit. Changed the logo on it because I don't like the Ferrari one. And made the yellow stripe at the top instead of the blinking Christmas tree decoration style. Um, Got the manual shifter with it, the TH8A, if I remember right. Um, and then I have the Trustmaster, Trustmaster tree, tree, T3PA Pro pedal set, um, which uh, I inverted so the pedals are hanging instead of. Um, yeah. I just uh, replaced the standard play seat for an old CRX seat that I had lying around. Um, because the standard play seats, uh, although they look very cool, uh, like bucket seat, uh, they sit like crap. They will hurt your back after a few hours and, uh, well, this is, this is pretty decent. It even has a little hole in the headrest, which you can perfectly mount the speaker in. Just wedged in there and it's not going anywhere. So I have the sound coming from the back. And since there's a speaker there and there's a speaker behind the television, um, you're right in the middle of it. Um, some people might recognize this play seat setup because it's just a standard model from the first generation, which just didn't have the the tubing right here uh, that was all gone and this bar that was here is supposed to be going up like this and then just diagonally up to here but because of the backboard uh, didn't fit otherwise I had to raise this up I welded it there and then I, I even cut it there just then just weld a little plate under it to make it like this. Also with the heavy Trustmaster steering wheel because this play seat was originally designed for um, uh, a Logitech Driving Force Pro which is yeah, <laughs> which is way back. Uh, 180 degree force feedback steering wheel. It does has uh, had force feedback but yeah, this wheel is way heavier and then once you get the steering, this whole section here will just wiggle around. So I made those little tubings here to um, make it uh, very sturdy and everything. And it's easy to get into. Just squat down. And yeah, there's another, a lot of uh, room for your legs in between. No problems whatsoever. Um, so yeah. Oh, also we got one little gem. We've got a butt kicker. Uh, I have mounted this underneath the seat. There it is. Uh, it's just welded to one bar that goes in between here. You can see where it welded. Um, yeah, and it makes the car everything vibrate on your RPMs, uh, hitting the rumble strips, and everything. Uh, so, yeah. Then I also have a. Oh, wait, where is that thing? My tablet. Which I use for um, a digital dashboard. Is that way? Where is it? There it is. I have this uh, mounted next to my steering wheel. It's a 
ref limiter, uh, gear that you're in, and the speed, obviously, obviously you go in. Um, it's called Sim Dashboard on the App Store, on Android in this case. Um, it works on PS4, PC, uh, and yeah, PS4 is for most people the problem because PC it has a lot of capabilities with a, a compatibilities with every type of app, but the PlayStation is harder to find. Uh, this one works though. Uh, just uh, fill in your IP address and it just picks it up through the Wi-Fi. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Little short video of my PlayStation setup. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.